Hello players, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and today we are playing Watcher of Realms. Specifically, we will be talking about the hardest fight in the current Void Rift, so let's get started. So, the hardest fight in the current Void Rift is this one over here, with this guy in the phase 1. The others, you can, if you can beat this one, you can actually breeze through it pretty, pretty easily up until the end. And this is very hard because you actually need to have around 4 physical damage dealers facing different directions. For example, if you have arrogance, you would want arrogance to be placed here. So facing this way, um, attacking the adjudicators that are going to be spawned. Also, you would want uh, two physical marksmen, damage dealers, two piercers to be facing this way because some more adjudicators are going to be spawned from here and from here too at the same time. So depending on what heroes you have, you'd want um, either for example Idriel or uh, Brienne. These are considered to be some um, solid epic DPS marksmen that are going to, do to deal physical damage. But uh, at the same time, if your account is a little bit further into progression, like uh, mine is, you would want Silas, for example, here, and um, maybe a set from here. And this, uh, after you deal with those over there, there's also going to be some uh, some pretty tanky spawns. For example, the Reaper uh, is going to be pretty tanky, and two will be summoned from here and from here. Uh, I prefer to also have another uh, DPS over here facing this way, that's going to be Hex because he's going to help out with some uh, stuff that Arrogance isn't able to kill off and to top it all off and everything that you need to have on the field you also will need a tank over here and another um, DPS over here, melee DPS over here to deal with the Reapers that are going to maybe uh, reach very close to the actual uh, crystal so enough talk i'm gonna show you my lineup and the way i do it uh, so you can copy it because as i said if you manage to pass this fight the current void drift is going to be a breeze um, and um, yeah guide you guide you along the way so what i actually use here is uh, arrogance uh, hex silas and we take Halloween out because I don't use her and place Setrum. Where is my beautiful Setrum? Over here. So, um, she's going to be my only healer because uh, healing in this fight isn't necessarily as important. I mean, it is important in every fight, healing is important, but there is going to be a debuff applied by the um, these guys over here, the Blasting Corpse that uh, after they uh, they are killed they are going to explode and um, dealing damage to nearby enemies and reducing the healing they receive so usually you would want to get rid of this debuff with an Elowin or a Mitan as an epic alternative but uh, to be completely honest if you have enough DPS and you manage to kill everything off before actually reaching your your crystal or your defenders um, you don't really need a healer. I use Hollow mainly for an extra boost in rage regen and some extra healing um, help for my Toridor in case he needs. So let's start off uh, and let me show you how I do it. So I'm gonna start off with Hex just to get rid, uh, just to get it over with because Hex is not gonna do much in this fight, but he's going to help in the beginning because. He's going to be able to kill off that uh, that guy over there. So while, it, while waiting for his ultimate to be activated, then we hit it off, and that's going to be a breeze. We activate, we place down arrogance. We place it over here, facing that way, because um, in this way he'll be able to attack the adjudicator over there. So you see, Hex barely picking that guy off, but that's that's, that's it. And then we place Silas in anticipation for the adjudicators on the right and right side, top and bottom. Then we will place Setrom and available down here. 
So as you can see, uh, Arrogance is quite good in this fight. He is very, very good. So, uh, Cetron almost ready to be placed down. He placed Cetron down. Arrogance deals some more damage because he's just cool like that. There we go. Um, next is going to be... Um, Hollow. Place Hollow here. And then we are gonna place Lust and Toridor. So we are waiting. We are not gonna use our ult yet. Not just yet. Silas ult that is. Because we don't actually need it. We are gonna place Toritor down so he can tank and Lust and Silas together should be enough to actually deal with that guy and we have Hollow to deal with uh, with the healing. So what about this time adjudicators on the right side will be spawning I think but uh, you really want to be careful and kill this guy only after he reaches this point because you won't want the adjudicator to kill off the to take the, the skull so we activate also silas to deal with the one on the right the top side and done that's going to be quite cool we place uh, we can place lunaria as well just for stalling purposes because she did does some mini stuns but basically she's in team just be because of her uh, lord bonus so as you can see uh Setram almost half his ult already we used Hollow to help with that. As I said, we use Hollow to help with the cost regen, with the, the rage regen. And if everything goes well with the next phase, um, this should be a done stage. But yeah, this stage is, as I said, rather complicated just because of the fact that uh, the adjudicators over there deal quite a lot of damage. They manage to gather the necessary skulls. And um, there's one spawning here, two spawning here on this side, and there are a lot of, let's say, um, mm, hero requirements that make this stage a lot easier. So, again, we're gonna wait for these two guys to reach closer to Toridor, just because... Um, if the actual adjudicators, adjudicators on the right side will be able to get closer to us, we don't actually want her, them to get buffed. So we activate Silas, Lust and uh, now Setram. We don't mind uh, the little Hollow getting killed, it's okay, it doesn't matter. And I think this should be it. Nice. So yeah, this stage is uh, is very 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 complicated for especially for uh, an an account that barely started to dip its toes into the late game. But uh, I hope that by watching this video, uh, you can actually at least pass this phase one and get the actual rewards that you can get from uh, from um, the. Um, the Void Blade. So, uh, unless, I'm not gonna let you off just with that, because I know some of you guys maybe will want help with the uh, last fight with the, um, what's her, what's her name? Uh, let's see the name. With the Shadow Keeper fight. So, uh, let's, uh, let's go with the Shadow Keeper guide as well, because why not? So in this fight there is going to be a very important silence timing, but uh, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna place Valeria here first, um, adjudicators are gonna come from the left, top left and uh, right hand side, but um, this is why we place them right exactly near the, uh, near the crystals, because they are actually going to be getting the buff from uh, minions that we kill earlier on. So. Um, Silas is gonna get this a few hits over here, but it doesn't matter. What's important is actually getting his ult ready as soon as possible. So um, we are gonna place now a 20 miss uh, lust. 
and we have our Silas ult ready the boss is going to spawn from uh, the bottom left side soon and the next up is going to be um, hollow because we're gonna use hollow and Halloween for rage regen as soon as the boss spawns we activate Silas ult and he's gonna be popping off and the next one is going to be another healer which is going to be Halloween we activate hollow for quicker rage regen for Silas and next one is going to be um, arrogance so the guy is going to be stalled enough by hitting Halloween so he, he's not gonna get buff from uh, the others he managed to get a buff but it's fine I think he's gonna survive no he didn't ah that's because I place my uh, hollow badly so we're restarting this and we're starting over. It's important that you guys also see the mistakes so you know what not to do and what to be careful of when in terms of positioning. And then we're gonna be placing silence. Then we're gonna be placing us. Next up is going to be hollow. Get very careful. Place her here. Don't do what I did. Next going to be Halloween. As soon as hollow ult is ready, we are gonna ult with her. Drops down Halloween for another great region. Next is going to be Arrogance. Nice. Actually, he still got the. Uh... He survived. Silas again. And then Hollow again. Can place a Lunaria over here. is going to be Mr. Toridor. We will want it uh, arrogance to take one hit so Toridor has it easier to save up, survive. Um, now we're taking a close look at Silas because we want him to ult as soon as possible. Dish some more hits in because Aragon is going to finish the job. Nice. We're going to ult with Halloween to get rid of the debuff. We're going to pick Silas up. I forgot to tell you that. Because we're going to need Silas on this side for the next uh, adjudicators. That guy is going to die eventually doesn't matter uh, arrogance should be able to deal with the adjudicator on the left hand side let's boost further a little bit more even though he, you can see the debuff in effect over here. Like it's so bad, he doesn't even he barely even gets healed. Now up is Silas again, and this is a race against time. Like this is inevitable. We're gonna win this if the minions will actually be coming let's save that one there we go 
think uh, arrogance is gonna be able to deal with that one right wait wait go and now that guy is gonna die and this is it so two most hardest fights in this current void rift i hope this was helpful um i know i wanted to do this because i know how much i wanted a guide uh, that would actually exp properly explain how they did this uh, especially with the current heroes because uh, not many people actually did an update overview of these fights so um, again i hope this was felt helpful but uh, i if you guys want a more in-depth guide with the epics as well just let me know so again i hope this was helpful um this has been andy event horizon gaming don't forget to like to subscribe to comment i read every single comment that i see have a wonderful week see you guys